What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Persona 5. Last time, we just escaped the palace once again, but Ryuji did unlock his persona, which is really cool because it's Captain Kid, and it's like a big old pirate with a ship and everything. It's pretty neat. And he uses Zeo, so he's our lightning guy. So we have Garu, Zeo, and for some reason, I have light abilities, but that's okay. Right. Or curses and stuff. Haven't anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now. So why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Meat man. Just me coo. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. Yeah, I can swing by the meat dimension. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Are you for real? If it was me, I wouldn't calm down until I punched that dick in the face. So, you left your hometown, and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. You already thought we are pretty close to like. I don't got a record like you do. I mean, th that's not the point. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Oh, I thought he was gonna take some. Like, don't you dare. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah. Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too. Oh, you're getting so clingy right now. The chat app is now available. You may now occasionally receive messages from those close to you. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rally's tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon. And we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. He's a good kid. He's good people. been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. N no, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Most depressing sports team. What does he want? He didn't say. He wants sex because he's a pervert. Um, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <sighs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Hang in there, Shiho. I bet she's an Augie person, a fire person. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today. Get off my ass, old man. 
I'm the one asking questions here. As long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. Now listen up. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. God, it's like the same conversation every day. In case you forget... Pee, 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 pee. Hey, I decided to go ahead and message you. Can you see this? What's this? Oh, I have to push something, okay. I'm gonna be counting on you tomorrow, okay? You're a bro, man. See you tomorrow, bro, bro. Let's save those guys who've been getting abused. You and me. Jeez. Are you even listening to me? Nope. Just stay away from bad influences, okay? I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. You're not my real dad. And okay, we'll save the game. I'll just add this. Then go to sleep. That thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? We ended up at that weird place when we used this nav app. I found it on my phone too. I don't even remember installing it. <laughs> Delete it at once! I deleted it earlier, but it came back. Think it's being downloaded on its own somehow? It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. God, he says a lot of things. But first, we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. Jeez. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's maybe it's because of the metaverse. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Velvet Room. <gasps> I wonder if Ryuji's in here. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? I love it here. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. And bars. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, haven't you? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people you trust to share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with the triangle button and select confidants to check the strength of your relationships. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> We have a deal, then. It feels like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. 
goodness, Igor's a social link now. Oh, it shall become the wings of it, the birth of the full persona. I have obtained the oh, no, it's not. blessing that shall well, lead to maybe. freedom and new power. Since usually the fool persona is reserved for your team, it could be Igor. Huh. Allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. Earn bonus XP when fusing personas based on their Arc Arcana's confidant rank. All right. You have learned the ability Wild Talk from Igor. People, uh, abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Hmm. I like Caroline. If only she were on my team. I can't do this. How annoying. We've barely started high school and we're already there. Wait. And already they're making us play at a volleyball rally. And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamashita's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practice? So, actually a fight club. As you all know, today's the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed. Got it? That was good class. Good class, everyone! Nice <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Olympian! I'm Jackie Chan, I do all my own stunts. Of Haikyuu. Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. I'm gonna beat you up later. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. And how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. What an abusive D-bag. Well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamashita's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... But you're kinda in the same boat, huh? You now use... round map? Okay, R1, yeah. Oh, there's a quick travel! Oh yeah, nice! 
Whoa! Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? Guess I could. I, I guess I expected from you, transfer. Hey, that's the guy who's over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Are you getting abused? Sucks. What are you saying? Of course not. It's Kamashita, ain't it? I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamashita's abusing you. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a coward! Damn it! You guys are taking complete nonsense! Don't try and hide it, we already know. You know? You have proof? Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please leave me alone. You're really bothering me. That's enough. Let's go. I mean, obviously no one's gonna talk. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before club starts. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C? He might be around this his classroom. The third year classroom's on the first floor. He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. Might have some injuries here too. I'll hit you up if I find anything. Oh, what's this? I run kind of weird. Oh, it's the news lady. Do you need something? I really wish you wouldn't talk to me in such a public place. Why don't you ask Mishimi, Mishima about that? He's in class D with you, isn't he? To be honest, I've heard some rumors about him and Mr. Kamashita. Don't ask me any more, though. I don't want the teachers to see me associating with you. Oh, we'll be friends one day, you'll see. I saw Mr. Kamashita asking Takamaki out in the hall yesterday. But she just shot him down. She's so uptight. She's probably had a bunch of boyfriends. I think the popularity went to her head. And she's looking down on us other girls, right? As to be expected from a foreigner. Yeah, nothing wrong with a... With a grown man asking a high schooler out. Come on now. Alrighty, I gotta go to classroom building three. 3C. Wait, this is one. I'm on the wrong floor. Three C. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. What do you want? You got something to say? So what if I am? I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. You're trying to stoop on Mr. Kamashita, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are gonna be tough. Mr. Kamashita is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. Who cares? Don't talk like you know. We should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? Yes, if I'm carrying a knife, it's perfect to insult me in my face. How's it going? Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashita. But I still got a lead, a first year, new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashita's web of bullshit yet. Pretty sure he's in class 1B. Try the first year classroom, it's on the third floor. Okay. Let me double check, I might have a new message. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? Where'd you hear that? Why would you say something like that? I mean, sure, Mr. Komashita's strict, but it's like this for all the other sports teams, right? Though the special coaching he gave Mishimi, Mishima was probably too far. I seriously don't know anything. Sorry! I can't do it. Please, just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Attention, attention! All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home. We're out of time. How'd it go? So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Gotta find Mishima. Machinima.
Can I talk to you for a sec? Mm hmm. What is it? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. We're best bros now. Get out of here. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Can't wait to max out so her social link. Heyo! Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? We're childhood we friends, probably. Yeah. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. He's probably that guy in white who's always like completely wrecked. Yep, there he is. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going That's on That's true. Here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? Yes, sir. <laughs> As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. Hmm. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has gotta be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Well, that's not gonna work. We gotta go back in the palace, kick his butt. My cats are so rowdy today. Tired from all the stuff that happened today. I think I should head to sleep. Okay. Oh yeah, what's in storage? Oh, a 
Apparently I can't do anything. This don't make any damn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why isn't anyone speaking up? That can't be true. It's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, that don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Anne. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. What a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashita during break tomorrow. Just you watch. I ain't giving up. That was a fast day. Who's that? Who did that? Tank, come on. It's almost the weekend party. Did you see Mr. Kamashita play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I hear that you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds, like screaming, even though no one's there. That's probably just a rumor spread by fans to scare the competition. So about witnesses. I was wondering if we can get something out of ta Takamaki. No, that ain't why. Just hear me out. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFFs with the starter, a girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm. I'm not feeling so good. Maybe you should quit then. Sorry. Bye. Isn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. So rude! <laughs> what is it? I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Uh, well... You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? This might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? <sighs> well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend's often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Then I'll... Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. You feel like a potential social link. Hmm. Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. 
At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? Why don't we... Yeah, there we go. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? Well, what I was gonna say was, why don't we just sneak into the gym while they're training and record them for real as he beats them? Done. I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! Kitty cat! Yay! You say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? So cute! How dare you up so and cute. me the other day! The cat's talking? I am not a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? Meow? <laughs> this is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? Yeah, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Why? Who cares? Meow? Let it be. Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It's ah! just small enough to fit. Hey, how cute are you <laughs> So cute! Uh. Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go too. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. It's pretty easy to pick things up fast when I only have two dialogue choices, so yeah. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? 
I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. That must mean whatever's going on with all the accidents has to do with pro uh, someone going in and messing with people's treasures or whatever, probably. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Nah, there's no other way! There's nothing left for me to do today. I should go straight home. I heard something that got my attention. About that Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamashida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. It's just impossible. I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamashida's their type, you know? So I gotta wonder where those rumors came from. Well, whatever. I'll try asking around some more. Hmm. Hmm? I saw that new transfer student hanging out with Sakamoto. The two of them are so scary. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who'd have a criminal record. Maybe he's one of those. You know, the people in those accidents. Maybe he suddenly freaks out and attacks people. I don't think so. He's just been coming to school. Actually, he almost seems normal. And from what I hear, after you have a psychotic breakdown, you go brain dead and die right after, or right there. Mm. Mm. Sakamoto's been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who does he think he is? The volleyball team's never gonna tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamashita. Well, if Kamashita likes them, their future's pretty much set. Of course, they'd back him up. Speaking of which, I hear Kamashita's new favorite girl is someone named Suzui. Oh, the girl who was chosen to be a regular. Ah, her face was all swollen. Looked pretty bad. Hmm. Do I have to walk all the way back myself? Eh, okay. I'm so traumatized from the video of that accident. I've been afraid of riding the train ever since. There have been similar accidents before, right? What happens if you get a psychotic breakdown? Well, out of nowhere, you go crazy and violent, and then you suddenly pass out. In the very end, you die in a lot of pain. That's what I hear. You die, or you're as good as dead. No! Please stand back. Damn it! You dumb girls! Wait a minute. Isn't... Wait a minute. What? Am I in the right station? Yeah, I am. Okay. There's an access way connecting to a commercial building up ahead. Wait. Um... This way? Will you please give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. 
Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. Awkwardly eavesdropping. Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? Haven't you heard of privacy? Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? See, that is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. Come on, you want it? No, don't run away! We will be friends! Wonder what happened. Can't be her. I'm gonna chase you down! <laughs> ah! Come on, man! Sorry, uh, I'm trying to go down on an up escalator. Hmm? Ah, there she is. Hold on. Right now, I need to hurt. Oh, damn it. Okay. Gotcha! Uh, Stop following. Just leave me alone. No. Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. Now, I if I wouldn't trust a stranger who just says, to talk about with you. Let's go to a safe place. Sounds pretty it was sketchy. Just an argument. Seems like she's really stressed out. Thank oh, you nice. Very much. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. Mm -hmm. That was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh... I've had enough of this. I hate him, but still... She was my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. Say something. Wow, you're a really good listener. <laughs> Didn't say a word. What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. <laughs> you might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person, as the rumor says? You just don't seem like it. <laughs> to the... I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me. Everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. 
Social link. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Oh, I'm going straight to the newspaper lady. Well, thanks. She she never said if she's actually going there or not. I mean, hopefully not. Suzui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. You're late. Where you been? Just don't come running to me when you get arrested. That'll be it for you, remember? By the way, you haven't been hanging around my any bad influences, have you? Oh. They gotta be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are if you don't want them ruining your life. Look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey. I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late, understood? Yeah, whatever. I'm bad to the bone, remember? So, what do you think about what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all the stuff about stealing desires. And Kamashita's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him, but I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Right. We ain't gonna settle anything at this rate. I'm thinking murder is a bit much, though. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. And it looks like that's about the end for the day, and for this video as well. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!